Hi, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with the practice tip of the day. This was for the intermediate player, and this is uh, another in our series on, on uh, some tips and tricks for uh, making uh, common bar chords. Uh, today I want to work on the A form minor chord. Alright, so uh, the other videos are over at the website, uh, www.LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com, and instead of doing the minor form, we'll talk about it real briefly, but we're going to work with minor 7 because that um, gives people a little bit more trouble. All right, so the, the, it comes from the A form minor comes from the A minor chord. So if you want to do a, a B minor chord, um, you, you're basically taking this and just moving it up across the neck. So it, really, when you want to learn an A minor chord, you really just learn 12 because it goes through the whole musical alphabet. So I'm going to play my A minor. I'm going to change my fingers around, and now if I move it up one, now it's A sharp minor. And if I move it up again, it's B minor. When you first learn how to play guitar, you often people often learn their B minor chord like this, or like this with four fingers. And what both of those are, they're small versions of the, the full B minor bar chord. Okay, so, uh, uh, watch the video. If you'll notice, this is the same uh, shape as the uh, e form major chord, like F, F sharp is here. So uh, go to the website if, you, if you're having trouble forming that chord and go through the steps of, of building the E form major chord because it's exact, exactly the same thing except you have to watch out for making sure that you don't try to play all five of these with the two knuckles of your finger. Because sometimes people want to do that and break it down right over that knuckle and that, that'll mess you up. It, 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 it gives you bad form and um, it, it'll mess up your chord. So just, the, the trick is to make sure you keep your finger straight and you just bend your, bend your wrist and make sure that the whole finger stays straight and then the rest of it goes in there. And just kind of go through the steps of, of getting each string to ring clearly. Just like you would with the, um, the I talked about over at the, uh, when I talked about the E form major chord. Okay, so let's, let's change instead of A minor, let's do A minor seven. Or, or instead of B minor, B minor seven. A minor seven is, here's my A minor. A minor 7 has, an, uh, has a G note added to it. So if I pick that up, that adds the open third string in there, which is G, and that's A minor 7. Same thing if I'm on B minor or any other A form minor chord. I want to pick that finger um, off the third string here. That this is my B minor. That's B minor 7. And you're going to notice when you do that, you have to put a lot more pressure on the bar because now we're playing the third, um, the third string note um, with, with our bar rather than one of these fingers over here. So you have to, uh, and, and you have to be careful that it doesn't hit you right where your knuckle bends. That's, that's, you have to kind of work around that. If it does hit you there, you just have to, you have to just kind of push on it harder. So if you kind of reposition the bar a little bit, you know, just slightly, so it's not hitting you there, uh, either up or down, depends on how long your fingers are and how wide the neck is. So um, I usually pull mine down a little bit and catch it third string right above that, that joint. So anyway, I just want to make sure make sure that you can hear that in there. And you, like I said, you'll notice you have to push it harder uh, than than with the the plain minor version. So so um, just once you get that in there, walking through the steps, pick that up and just make sure you can hear that. It's easy for that to get lost in there. So I anyway, so just have to kind of mess around with that a little bit. And by the way, minor sevenths and minors are almost always uh, uh, substitutes for each other. It's perfect substitutes. Uh, people play minor sevenths just to make the minor chord bigger. Minor seven uh, chord has four notes in it rather than three. Um, and, and you can kind of use that to kind of color your playing a little bit so that it, it, um, it becomes more interesting. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Uh, uh, tune in tomorrow for another practice tip. Thanks for tuning in today. And I will see you next time. Thanks.